Welcome, welcome, welcome my lovelies. Um, thank you so, so much for pressing the play button. So far, so good <laughs> for this video. Um, yes, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, cheers, as always. Um, okay, so this part, we can see this, this instalment, we can see there's a slight difference here. I have put the roof on the house at the moment. Um, before we, and, and also cover this bit up here, I shall tell you why in uno momento. Um, but first of all, just very quickly in case I forget, just a couple of people that I would like to say hello to. Um, I'd like to say hello to Kat. Hello Kat. Um, Kat does, has commented on my videos obviously, and has subscribed, thank you very much my lovely. Um, but you also do YouTube as well. I looked it up, had a couple of uh, uh, look at your some of your videos, lovely work you do. Um, and it's called, your, your YouTube channel is called Wasted Talent Arts. So if you look up Wasted Talent Arts, you'll find Kat doing her videos. And also another lady who I would very much like to say hello to because we've chatted quite a lot now, and that's Fatima. Hello Fatima. Um, Fatima is the, the owner and the organiser of the Vancouver Dollhouse Miniature Show, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So, And also you have a YouTube uh, channel with that same name, Vancouver Dollhouse Miniature Show. Um, and I have watched your videos too, very nice they are. Well here comes John Boy, say hello John Boy. Hello everybody. <laughs> He's out the way. He's out in the sunshine today, aren't you? He's doing some car uh, washing. I am. He's, he's actually washing my car as well. It certainly needs it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going out in my car tomorrow, the Merc. And if it's a nice sunny day like it is today, we may even have the roof down. Um, but we're going, is Saturday tomorrow. Well, it, it depends when this video goes on, of course. Um, but to us at the moment, it's Saturday tomorrow, and we're going over to our best friends, um, Emma Waddell and her husband, Darren, um, who I've mentioned several times now. Um, a lot of you already know who I'm talking about, the famous interior designer miniaturist. Um, so we're going over to, to their home, and uh, we're going to have a really lovely day, obviously doing dollhouse stuff. Um, so I'll tell you all about that, guys, when, uh, when we come back. If I remember, I may even take you with us, if there's anything that we can actually film. Who knows? Yay! Someone shouted, who cares? I'm sure you did. <laughs> Hurrah, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, Fatima, um, hello to you too. Um, so nice that you have subscribed to my channel. I have subscribed to yours too. And Kat as well. Hurrah. So, right, now, let's move on. So, reason why this window is covered up, hopefully this video will go on before this video, um, but I had, also, I had already done um, maybe seven or eight different clips that I have to put together of dressing this side of the shop window for Amelie, the shop owner. She came to me um, that, that night, um, this was days ago now, through the night, obviously woke me up, and told me what she wanted with one of her window displays. I am really, really pleased with it. Um, but I, while I was making the video and doing all the different parts, I, I realised that I needed two or three pieces to finish the window off because the, what I had wasn't good enough. I didn't like it. Um, so I got onto my suppliers. I have a, um, a trade account supply uh, people that are, because I sell stuff to people and also buy uh, to use for myself and called them and got some bits and pieces um, and it was meant to arrive yesterday and it hasn't and I phoned them this morning and it won't arrive until this evening um, but this has now been about four days since I'd got to this part of the window this stage um, so I just thought I would do another video and just start the roof and maybe get that out for you guys so you don't have to wait even longer um, but this is like where they do window dressing in big posh shops uh, where the uh, uh, windows are covered up so people can't see in until the big reveal. <laughs> so that's what's going on there in case you wonder. So I just thought I can't wait um, before I get these um, because as I say our, the stuff I need isn't coming until tonight. 
with, then it's too late to do the video, then without tomorrow, then it's going to be another day after that. So let's just get this done um, as much as I can, try and get this video done today. Um, so you've got something else to watch. And I've, and I've moved on a little bit more with said house. So as you can see, I've screwed the, the, the roof back on again. This is how it opens. It just opens right up and then it just sits there, um, which is quite handy. Um, so I just wanted to put it on just to show you the, the before, basically. It has got the, if you've been watching the Parisian house uh, videos from the beginning, you would have seen that it's got uh, dormer windows sticking out there. Um, so I have ripped those off. This is only a paper um, of a tiled paper, which looked all right. It looked absolutely fine when it, was, uh, when it wasn't all ripped. <laughs> um, but I didn't want that anyway. Um, obviously, because I've changed, as you know, if you've watched these videos, I've changed the entire outside of this build uh, as, as well as inside. So completely repainted. I've uh, bricked, put bricks on the wall there. Uh, stone bricks so um, yeah so this bit I wanted to change as well so let me get a screwdriver and let me undo it and then I'll show you what I'm going to use to cover it and have another little drop of tea it's so nice by the way when I'm doing these videos because a lot of you comment afterwards and let me know that you actually have had a lovely day and you've sat and watched a couple of these and uh, talked back to me when I'm talking, and it really feels like we're all in the room together in one great big lounge. How fabulous would that be? Um, showing off each other's houses and all our work. Right, let me get this roof off and move the camera down, and I'll show you. I don't know what it's gonna look like because I haven't done it yet, but it's just the idea that I have finally come up with. Um, I'll tell you quickly um, what I wanted, uh, which is sort of what I'm going for, is I had a look a lot of a look at a lot of roofs in Paris on images in Google, and a lot of them have either got um, copper um, sheets uh, on their roofs, or uh, they've got um, lead leaded sheets. Um, so I've gone for a more sort of leaded metal effect rather than the goldy copper effect. Um, I did actually look at gold, uh, look at copper um, pieces, but silly little squares like this size were about eight or nine pound plus postage. Um, and I needed about eight of them at least. I mean, it was going to cost me like 60 or 70 pound just to put copper on the, the front of this. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm going to go for an ultra cheap uh, option compared to that. And hopefully it's going to look just as jazzy. Anyway, let me get this roof off and rearrange cameras and things and show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so um, moving on from looking online at 60 or 70 pounds worth of copper, which would be ridiculous. Um, I've gone to the other extreme. I wanted a more of a leady lead look anyway, um, a sort of shiny metal grey lead look. So I've gone from that extreme to this extreme, which was free wallpaper from our local store, where you can just tear off short lengths. There's a length there. Um, so I just tore off uh, a piece, well, slightly longer, because I've cut a piece off, um, but just tore, tore a piece off for nothing. Um, so this gave me the, the base of what I was had in my mind. Um, I'm not going to make it exactly how a lead roof is joined and everything at the seams. Um, as our friend Emma is always saying to us, um, make as you see, not make as it is. So I'm just going to do the look. So I don't know if you can see here at all. It's a paper. It's got shiny, smooth, shiny metal surface areas, but then that's really dull, the rest of it. Um, and the sort of stained, like rusty coloured stain on it um, as well. For a wallpaper, I think it's hideous. <laughs> but that's my, <laughs> that's my personal preference. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I just thought it looked ideal as a sort of scruffy, dirty metal effect. Um, so I've got that first of all, cut out 
pieces that I, I, I'm going to cut down into smaller sections, but I shall show you what I did. Um, I mixed up some uh, acryl lac. That's what I used. It's a uh, grey, dark grey colour that I used to stain all the wooden um, the wooden slates on the, the roof of my boho house. So it's uh, like it just soaked into the wood, so it's like a wood stain. Um, but I mixed that with some artist's um, acrylic black, Mars black, just to darken it down even more. Then I dabbed that on this onto this paper and rubbed it with a tissue to smear it and everything. Then when that was dry, I took the paper outside and I used this one here, metallic bright silver um, paint, and that dries in a a high a brilliant gloss finish because where the where there was only the smooth bits of that was shiny and the rest of it was dull I didn't want it dull looking on the roof I wanted it to have a bit more of a sheen so if I hold up this section here hopefully I don't know if in this light if you can see it okay or not I won't know until I look back on the video and think yes you can see it quite well or oh no um, it doesn't look so good on the video, um, but anyway, so there's the dark sort of streaky bits that are run down. It's almost uh, like rain streaks. Um, I wanted to have that sort of effect, um, but even where it's all rough, the whole paper now has got a, a shine on it. So I'm going to cut this. I've cut it the depth of the roof. Let me just throw this wood on the floor. Um, this should be dry now, but I'll lift this up to show you. Here's the, where the windows are. What I did, I measured two inches in from each end and then four inch gaps uh, all the way along. Um, so it's evenly spaced out. And this is going to be, hopefully, this is going to be the ridges uh, under the, the lead where you see the, the joins that, where, where it's all put together. Um, and I've cut them out there sloped them and what have you so the windows will just slot in there exactly once I'm finished. Um, so this is this is dry now which is good. Um, what I'm going to do is cut pieces. Um, I'm going to start from one end and cut a piece about half an inch past this gap and then I'm going to glue it on, crease it into this wood and down the other side and then the little bit that's extra there just glue that down and then I'm going to start the next piece on top of where that last piece finishes, right up in the corner of this. And I'm going to take that along to the next bit, up and over that bit, and about half an inch along. And then I'm going to do the same again, a piece from there, right over, along, and just flatten it there. So the whole paper, they're going to overlap, but these are going to be in exact sizes I'm going to cut. So it'll be done all in pieces. I'll put a couple on just to show you what I'm doing and of course then when they're stuck on I can maybe turn it round and draw that and cut out the cut out the windows but I want it right up to the edge there so when I put the window on um, it's going to go behind the uh, brickwork on the window on, on the yeah on the window so let me start doing that and then we'll see how we get on with that yay okay I'm trying to work quick before the glue dries too quickly. Um, I've started from this end as I said and you can see it coming along here nicely and I've just gone over this next ridge with a piece starting from in here and then it goes over there and about half an inch to an inch over and I'm going to put the next bit in here and go over to the next bit of wood. Sorry about the bad camera ang angles. I'm not a camera man as you all know but I was going to say, who knows, who cares? <laughs> I suppose you would care if you can't see it properly. So I've just slotted that in up to that edge there. I'll cut all this away afterwards. This is obviously where the window goes. So that's all in there. And then I'm going to flatten this down. And then when it comes to the strip of wood, I'm just going to fold it against the wood just to get a, I'll do a finger finger crease there first of all and push it down and then I'm going to put the ruler in and press it right into the corner there. 
I suppose if it was lead, it wouldn't be really sharp, but I just wanted to stick to the wood as much as possible. Um, I'll crease it over now, just to give the effect. I don't know what you guys are thinking at the moment um, about what I'm doing, um, but now seeing it going on, I'm really quite excited about it because it's actually looking more, uh, looking a bit better than what was in my head. And when things turn out better than what's in my head, it can only be a win-win. See, I folded that over the edge to the other side there. I'm going to press this ruler. It's a nice sharp metal strip there, the ruler. So I'm going to press that in and flatten it to get it nice and square. And flatten it down onto the next piece. There we are. Now if I hold that, hold that up, you can start seeing the effect there. Uh, with that bit, when I folded this whole section over onto here, um, this bit here, I just cut it all with a knife just to open it up so that I could fold it out the way and get this bit nice and square, top and bottom. And then this, this bit didn't stop this piece from sliding in neatly along those lines. So if I cut that away, it can just go in in there. So yeah, so there we are. And I've got something else to put on the roof as well afterwards, which I shall show you at the end uh, when the windows are in, um, just to give it an even more sort of older, worn look, well, as if it's been there for years. So hurrah, that's it. So the next bit, as I say, I've, these are all cut the same width going across because these are the same distance. So the next bit, if I show you, I will just slot that, slot that onto there. So that's where it will start, like that, and then just stick it all down and take it over this these bits of wood, cut the window out, carry on, and just go right along to the end. So let me get that finished and then see where we go from there. Okay. If you hear any soaring or banging going on in there, John's work, John Boy is working on his curiosity shop. Um, fortune teller's curiosity shop, or curio's shop, I'm going to call it. Um, aren't you John Boy? I am. He is. <laughs> right, here we have all the ridges along here. That's come out really well, really pleased so far. Um, that's that bit. And I've cut out all the windows and all the roof parts, which you would have seen in previous videos if you've watched the, this house build from the start. Um, that also had the tile paper on, but I've covered that in the same, um, same paper. So I'm just going to glue each one in place and let's see what that looks like. Okay, before we go any further, here is John Boy. Hello. Hello. And he's working on his curiosity shop. Are we calling it a fortune teller's shop it's with curiosities? Curios, yes. The curios. Okay. And he did a sort of flat tiled roof to start with, because you do have flat roofs on buildings, and then decided to go more creative and he's now doing a pitched roof. Yeah. So he's doing all the framework. Look at you go. I've done it um ship lap, is it? Ship lap. Ship lap yeah. on the sides. Or sidings. I can't remember what they call them over the pond and all around here and, front. and then if we go around the front, front. have you done the, done the front? I'm oh done the front as well done the front. there we are and you're going to paint this or yeah whatever. i think this is going to be sort of a greeny color and then this i'm not quite sure whether i'll paint it i'll probably well, they look like, like stone like pillars stone. don't they yeah and maybe green stone. around the windows yeah. or something and green on the top maybe yeah, yeah. See how it goes. Looking good. Is this just going to be flat, or you're going to put no, 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 tiles? No. I'm just put, just building the roof, and then yeah. I'll do like this sort of, and then do that effect. This effect on but, top. Yeah. After, so it looks like a proper roof. Excellent. So, yeah, Excellent. Looks good. Pleasing okay. so far. And as you can see, we haven't even started on the big um, castle. Can Can't even talk about no, that. <laughs> the big castle building. That's obviously a project still to come. Right. Okay, folks, so there we have it. I am 
so pleased with that it looks like a metal lead roof and of course it's really old it's been up there for many many years um, so it's covered in moss and even the side bits are all leaded as well just go along and show you I think the moss just gives it a lot more age makes it look like it's been there from the beginning of time so hopefully there is uh, at least one of you out there that think um, this looks really really good and like it as much as I do John Boy hasn't seen it, I've just screwed the roof on. Do you want to come and have a quick look, John Boy? What do you think? I think it looks really good. Doesn't it? You would really think that was lead. Yeah, yeah. Really? It really, it really finishes it off. Hurrah. Well look, done. And he well means done. it. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a giant no, going no, past. No, no, honestly, a a giant goes. going behind the building there. I'm so pleased with it. Really pleased with it. Hurrah. Okay, so there we have one cool looking roof and uh, one happy looking boy. <laughs> um, and also I've just realised, well I've just thought, all the time I've been working on this house um, over the last weeks doing different uh, parts uh, to it, um, Nigel keeps jumping up on the top and just sitting there uh, while I'm doing bits or when I'm not even in the room and uh, without this front on he kept grabbing bits of furniture every now and again and he thought he'd play with them and throw them out of the building. Nothing has broken so that's okay um, but also when I had this bit on without these windows he was getting up on there and then he would just look in and the paw would go in grab something and pull it out. Um, the poor little sewing machine went flying at one point, um, but it's, as I said, nothing broke, so, and he's only having fun, but he was like some giant cat, um, it was like a bee movie. <laughs> um, anyway, so, cheers folks, a well-deserved cup of tea, me thinks, and I'm just so happy, it's amazing what you can do with a little strip of square wood and some free wallpaper. Where's the where's the rest of it? Here we are. Free wallpaper jazzed up to look like metal. So hope you've enjoyed this video folks. It was just and that was our this is our delivery at the door for the bits that I'm doing for this video. Can't believe it. Can you believe it? There's our um a lot of our gear for this house, for the Art Deco house, um, for a customer. Um, so yeah, so from our suppliers, so that has literally turned up just in time for me as soon as possible to start or to finish the rest of this video and to show you this window display. So let me put this down carefully. We'll open that in a minute and have a look. Um, so like I say, thank you very, very much for watching folks. Um, and hopefully see speak to you soon and hopefully I'll get this next video on to finish the the uh, window of this uh, of the, the shop front so uh, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from John boy goodbye all <laughs> he's busy in there okay take care folks lovely to speak to you as always keep well speak again soon bye all